Hi, I want to tell you guys about two books that I have on Amazon that I think will help you. One is Regain Your Power. It's all about how to have power in your relationships, whether you're dating somebody or you're in a relationship and you know you feel like you're just you're out of control and it tells you basically there's a lot of tips on how to regain your power with your partner. The other book is called He's Not That Into You, He's Wasting Your Time. And it also has a lot of tips for people that are dating somebody or in a relationship with somebody and they just don't know if their partner is into them. Okay, both books, I'm running a promotion. They're only 99 cents on Amazon. The link is in my podcast description. So check them out. I think they could be useful. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy them and have a great day. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. Good morning. And I wanted to podcast on something that so many people are going through. Breakups. Yes, we all go through breakups. And I know it sucks, right? It does. But a lot of people are wondering, you know, when it comes to boyfriend, girlfriend situations or partner to partner or whoever your partner is, they break up with the person or the person breaks up with them and they wonder, are they going to come back, right? A lot of times in situations, you might have had a boyfriend, for example, and you guys went out, let's say two years, everything's okay. And out of the blue, he just says to you, uh, you know what, I'm not made for relationships or you're really not for me. And he just kind of blindsides you, right? Now you're left with this heartache, this breakup, and you're saying to yourself, what did I do wrong, you know, or is he going to come back? Well, I'm here to tell you, okay, that nine times out of 10, you guys, they come back, all right? But it really depends on why you guys broke up, all right? I mean, if you broke up over something very, very big, it's possible they won't be back, all right? But most most times they do come back. I'm here to tell you most times they do come back. But you have to you have to do the no contact. I cannot stress enough how powerful that no contact is. All right, you guys. When you do the no contact, what you're basically doing or what you're basically saying is that you're a strong person. You're not going to bow down to their weakness. You're not desperate. You're not needy. Because here's the thing. The more you chase after them, the more you, even if you send a little text like, how you doing? Don't do it. No contact, no contact, no contact. All right, you guys? I'm telling you, all right? It's powerful. Silence is thunderous, all right? It, it, it really affects them by not having any contact whatsoever. The other thing I wanted to stress is that do not post any kind of memes on your on your social media or your Facebook about how sad you are or don't do the reverse how you're out partying a lot or anything like that because number 1 they know when you're posting a lot of things that are, you know, um you know, you're showing yourself out partying with your your friends or, you know, you're with other guys or number one, you don't want them to know what you're doing. You want that mystery because that's what's going to initiate them to contact you. They're going to be wondering what's going on with you. All right. So you don't want to let them know anything. All right. That's very, very important. And here's the other thing too, you guys. If they don't come back, then it was somebody that you don't want anyway, okay? Then they're really not into you or maybe they're dealing with somebody else. A lot of times, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, okay, if the, if the relationship didn't break up over something big or something traumatic between the two of you, all right, if they're not coming back, all right, it's because in a lot of cases, not all, it's because they're busy with somebody else. They they have something going on, but that could change, all right? Because we all know things, you know, don't last forever. So whoever they're talking to or people that they're talking to, eventually 
they're going to get tired of them, all right? And that's when these exes come back, all right? Or they're going to find fault with the other person, and that's when they're going to start to think about you and come back. That's if they're talking to somebody else, in which case, in a lot of cases, if you haven't heard from them, you know, in a while, it means that they're kind of busy with something else going on in their life, all right? Because most of the time, they don't want to be alone, in a lot of cases. And like I said, that's not everybody, but it's a large percentage of them. They don't want to be alone. So if you're not hearing from them, it could be that they're busy with somebody else. And trust and believe that in most times is going to go sour. And that's when these exes come back. All right. But if you want them to come back, I'm telling you, do not call them. Do not contact them. Even if it's something small, you know, and definitely don't contact with thinking of you or miss you, all right? That's just, you know, defeat all the way, all right? You want them to come back because they respect you. The only way they're going to respect you is by you keeping your silence, all right? That's how they're going to respect you because they're going to be like, wow, I haven't heard from her. Wow. Then they're, then the wondering is going to go on in their mind and they're going to say to themselves, I wonder what she's up to. I wonder if she's seeing somebody else. That's why you can't post anything on your social media whatsoever. And don't be reaching out to their friends or family either. All right. You want to kind of just fall off. All right. Because that's going to create the mystery and that's going to make them want you more. See, when you go through a breakup and especially the person that's the dumper, okay, let's say that that person or he dumped you or if it's the other way around, she dumped you. Initially, the person that ends the relationship, they're very happy initially because now they're free. They're like, oh, I'm free, all right? Now they feel like, oh, I could go out with other people. You know, I don't have to deal with their nagging and all, you know, the problems that I had with that person. So, you know, it's kind of like when you go through a divorce, the same kind of thing. And initially when you get divorced, you know, the person that wants it is very happy. They're out there. They think there's all these great opportunities. The grass is always greener. And we all know the grass is not greener, you guys. All right. It's the same ball of wax out there. All right. But some people have to go out there and see it for themselves, all right? And it's the same thing with a breakup. So initially, they're going to be very, very happy to be free, okay, of you, all right? They're going to think, oh, this is great, you know, I'm single, or maybe they have somebody they were interested in, that's why they broke up with you, so they could pursue that, all right? But in any event, I always say, let them go, let them go. Let them see what it is. You know, it's kind of like giving them enough sh uh, rope, they'll hang themselves. Let them go and see that it's not so great out there, all right? Then what's going to happen, all right? So init then the initial phase is they're going to be happy to be broken up. Then what's going to happen is they're going to start to think about things, Okay. After a certain amount of time, they're going to start thinking about things. That could take, it depends on who you're dealing with. That could take anywhere from, you know, a month to three months, all right? And they're going to start to miss you. But the only way they're going to miss you is if you fall back, all right? And I mean that, really, fall back. I, I know it's tempting to to want to call that person, you know, even lightly. Don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, okay? If you have to, call your friends up, call your family up. You could email me at askgaz909 at gmail.com. My email is in the um, podcast description, you guys, all right? And also, send me any questions you guys may have or you want me to podcast on as well. But do not contact them whatsoever because here's the thing. The person that holds out the longest is the one that, in a sense, wins, is the one that has the power, okay? That's why, like, a lot of times when people break up and the person that breaks or gives in and contacts the other person, the other person now has the power because they're like, yes, you contacted me. Yes, it's like you came to me, right? 
So now you have to kind of bow down. You don't want to do that, okay? Because even if you do get that person back, now they know they could do this anytime to you. Now they know if you do one thing they don't like, they could walk away from you and guess what? You're going to come back to them, all right? It's almost like giving them a license to treat you like crap. So don't do that. Don't do that. Don't give in, all right? And like I said, if they really care about you, they will be back. If they don't come back, then you know what? There's the door. Don't let it hit you on the way out, okay? Because there's millions of other people out there in the sea, all right? And a lot of times, people are very upset when they break up with their ex, all right? And I'm going to tell you why, you guys, because you haven't met somebody else that makes you happy during that time, but you will. It will come. And when you do meet another person, you're going to look back on your ex and be like, why did I put up with that person? Hey, everyone. I want to tell you about the Taking Sides, the marriage podcast. On Taking Sides, the marriage podcast, listeners are going to send in their relationship questions their disputes, and their current disagreements. Host D- Dalen and Ashley Seely, known as the Dashleys on Facebook and YouTube, they're then going to take sides and offer their opinion on the matter. The goal of this podcast is not to be divisive, but rather to learn to come together, gain your tools for making the relationship work, and learn that the best side to take is the one you come up with together and to learn to disagree without being disagreeable. Sometimes it helps to know that you're not alone, and other couples have experienced the same issues as you do. So listen, you have to go to Taking Sides, the podcast, you guys. If you would like to have your relationship questions answered, you need to send your questions to Taking Sides with the Dashleys at gmail.com to hear the questions answered on the next episode of Taking Sides Dash the Marriage Podcast on Spotify or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. So go to Taking Sides the Marriage Podcast. What was I thinking? Okay, so don't ever think that it's the end of the world because it's not. You know, life is a process. You're going to go through all different stages in your life. And that could just be one of the stages that you go through. And it could actually bring you to a better place. I know that sounds like, oh, no, I'm telling you, it could. All right. But it's up to you on how you handle it. You can't change other people. You can only change how you react to them. All right. And, you know, some people realize what they have and some people don't. And some people don't realize till it's too late. That person could come back a couple months down the line and you could be dating somebody else that you really like. And then it's too late. All right. But in any event, I'm here to tell you that when you break up with somebody or that person dumps you, most of the time they're going to be back. And you have to do the no contact whatsoever. All right. Uh, it, It is... I'm telling you, I've been analyzing relationships for a long time. I've seen it everywhere. The no contact is probably the most powerful thing you could do. Words mean nothing, you guys. Words mean nothing. You could sit there and you could try to communicate with the partner and it's going to go in one ear and out the other, okay? So, you know, actions talk. So that's what I had to, you know, just podcast and let you guys know. You know, if you're feeling heartbroken and you're wondering, you know, will your ex be back? Most likely, most of the time, they will be back. And another reason they're going to come back is because of their ego, all right? They love the attention that you were giving them. And a lot of times they come back because of their ego. So keep that in mind too. You know, it's like you want to be the one that's in control, And you want to be the one that's respected. And in order to be respected and to be adored and to be loved by somebody, 
You have to get their respect, you guys. And you're not going to get their respect by texting them. You're not going to get their respect by contacting their mother and asking about them or something, okay? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're showing weakness, all right? And when you show weakness, you're showing desperation and neediness. And then they look at you like, you know, you can't find somebody else, all right? And then the, the need for you is less and less, all right? So keep that in mind, do the no contact and see, you know, if they're worth something, they will come back. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is this, there's so many heartbroken people out there. Okay. A lot of times we vest everything into somebody who's really not worth it. I may add. Okay. But we don't realize that till later on when we're away from the situation and we really see it for what it is. Okay. Okay. When you're out of the relationship and you look back, that's when you start to recognize the red flags that were there that you never, you know, you never took notice of, okay? Because you were so blindsided by your feelings for them, your emotions for them. You were thinking about all the good times you had with that person, all right? Without really seeing it for the reality that it is. What I want you to do is I want you to think with your head, not with your heart, okay? Because your heart will get you in trouble. When you think about your ex, I don't want you to think about all the romantic trips you took together, all the romantic nights you had together, how he was so nice to maybe your your dog, okay? What I want you to focus on is the negative, all right? I want you to think about all the things you didn't like in the relationship, all the things that he or she did or your partner did that annoyed you or disrespected to you. And I want you not to, to be heartbroken, but I want you in a way to kind of, I, I shouldn't really say be angry, but yeah, in a sense, get a little angry about it, okay? For how that person really treated you because that's gonna keep you strong and then you're gonna get past that feeling and it's gonna become indifference, all right? You're gonna get to a point where you're like, and that's when you really don't care is when you get to that indifferent type of stage, all right? And you also wanna talk to as many people as possible. I know a lot of you don't want to be out there again and, you know, nobody compares to your ex, but give it a chance. Just look at it like you're going out, you're making friends. Just get out there, make friends, and something could turn into something, all right? It takes time, you guys. It takes time. You got to keep busy. You definitely have to keep busy, all right? So when you're feeling heartbroken and you're really upset and you're crying your eyes out, Stop romanticizing about all the romantic things with your ex and start thinking about, you know, the creepy things they did, all right? Or the things or how they were not investing in the relationship or, you know, how they are not valuing you. Like value yourself, you guys. You're a great person. You 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 put your heart into something and, and if they're not able to appreciate that, then you know what? Let them go out there and and be with somebody who won't appreciate them, okay? Because it, what goes around comes around. We all know that, all right? So just always have your self-esteem. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and give yourself time. Do the no contact. Like I said, it's the most powerful key. I can't stress enough, all right? The person that is silent that can hold the longest is the one that has the power, all right? And what I mean by power is that that person's gonna value you, all right? And that's what you want. That's what you want. Because usually, you know, a lot of people say, oh, 50-50 in a relationship. But in a lot of times, one partner usually has a little bit more control than the other, all right? And you wanna be on the upper side, all right? And the way you do that is by showing kind of indifference and kind of like you don't care, even though you do care, never let them know they got you, okay? Like I said, because that's when people take advantage. It's just human nature, you know? When they, when they It's like when you have something and you acquire something, it's like all of a sudden it doesn't become anything great anymore because you already have it, all right? 
So you always want somebody coming back, coming back, coming back. So you, you pull back a little bit. That's how you do it, you guys. All right. Like I said, the no contact. Don't be posting any, you know, crazy memes about, you know, uh, karma will get you and or that you're sad or anything. You don't want to show any kind of um, memes or anything, any sadness or anything like that. You want to not let them know anything that's going on. So that's creating that mystery. So they come back. All right. And last note, if they come back, they're worth it. If they don't, then you know what? That could be God's way of, of sending you a rowboat that you're better off with that out them. Because the last thing you want is somebody who's not that into you. All right. That's another thing, uh, you know, that's really important. You guys, you want somebody that's into you. All right. Very important. All right. If they're not that into you, you don't want them. I don't care how good looking they are. I don't care how great a time you have with them, hanging out with them. If they're not that into you, who wants that? Okay. Nobody wants that. You want somebody that, you know, is feeling you that wants, wants to be with you. It's how they treat you. You guys, that's important. That's the most important thing. You guys is how somebody treats you. Remember that. All right. So I hope that helps you. And if you like my podcast, please hit the subscribe button and share and send me your questions or what you guys want me to podcast at, at askyaz. 909 at gmail.com. My email's in the um, podcast description, you guys. And have a great day, okay? Hi, everybody. I want to tell you about a great offer with Audible, okay? You can listen to audiobooks anytime. It's a free trial offer. And the link is in my podcast description. It's tinyurl.com slash askyaz707. It's a free trial for any kind of audiobook you want to listen to. You can listen to it in your car. You can listen to it at home. Whatever you want to listen to, you guys, in audiobooks. It's a free trial. It doesn't cost you anything. You can listen about sports. You can listen about uh, business. You can listen about uh, how to make money or whatever interests you have, get a free audiobook. Okay. So go to my podcast description and click the link tinyurl.com slash ask Yaz 707. Okay. And it'll take you there where you can download a free audiobook. Okay. Like I said, doesn't cost you anything. You should try it out. Audiobooks are the new hot thing. A lot of people don't have time to sit down and physically read a book. This you could be driving in your car and listen to whoever you want to listen to. Okay. There's like a large amount of different audiobooks that they have. Okay. So check it out. The link's in my podcast description and have a great day.